The best thing I ever did early on in my career was ask to attend a pretrial conference. You know, for the first few years, I had quite a few cases that went to trial and I'd never attended one before. I just got my task list of things from the attorney, like this is what they want, this is what they need. It's so much easier if you actually go in and to the pretrial conference and understand how that whole process works because our attorneys don't think like paralegals. They practice law. They want to win arguments in court. They don't think, well, this might be better organized if it was alphabetically by case law, or next time it would be easier to read from it in this way. But you have that ability. So if you have a case that's going to trial anytime soon, just ask if you can attend the pretrial conference with them. The worst they can do is say no. Or if they say, well, I don't need anybody else there, you know, then maybe you offer to, to go do it so that you can just get the experience. Again, best thing I ever did, because what I realized at the pretrial conference is sending them with just the exhibits that they were arguing and the pending motions wasn't enough. When you're preparing for it, obviously the basics are the pending motions they're going to need because they're going to be arguing those the exhibits. They're going to talk about the witness testimony, so live witnesses that are going to appear, and they're going to want those deposition designations. An updated working exhibit list, that's for you, your eyes only, or the attorney's eyes only. And a rule of thumb that I go by, you can really never send too many files to the pretrial conference because they have to be prepared for anything, essentially. So imagine that maybe there's only 20 exhibits at issue that the other side has objected to. And you have a thousand exhibits and you think, well, they only need to, to bring those 20 exhibits. I can guarantee you inevitably one of those other 900 exhibits are going to get called into question and they only have those 20 exhibits that are at issue with them. So they only need one copy, but they need to have all those exhibits there. So let's start with the motions a way to organize them that I found helpful after I attended the pretrial conference was in the actual working of it, what typically happens is they're going to get up and argue one motion at a time. And so instead of having this massive notebook with all of the pretrial motions and all of the responses and replies and, and then the case law that's cited behind that motion in that notebook, instead of doing that, what ends up happening is they argue one motion at a time, so why not have five separate notebooks? And because the case law can be cited in various motions, depending on the issue, you don't necessarily, and you wouldn't know which case it was cited in if you're looking for a specific, or which you know motion it was cited in. So put all the case law for all the motions organized in alphabetical order by their case name and then have smaller notebooks so that when they get up, they argue their motion. They've got all of the replies and responses and all that in that one notebook. And then usually the other side gets up or the attorney then can put the notebook back into the box and grab the next notebook and walk back up to the podium and they're arguing that motion. It's a lot easier than having to flip through this massive notebook and not knowing what case is cited where or the issue. And with these, I put big stickers on the outside what the name of the, the motion is so that it's easy for them to be able to grab that next notebook to start that argument.